Hi everyone. So, bought this mini displayer from eBay as faulty. Apparently it won't power on or anything. It's an MDS JE480. It's a machine that I've covered on my channel before. Now, the fault as advertised on this machine was that the person had attempted to change the belts from a YouTube video. I'm not sure if it was my video that they'd used. Um, but they'd attempted to change the belt and after changing the belt, the machine won't come out of standby. So what I'm going to do is open this up and show you a common little mistake that people usually make with these machines and show you how to fix it. So we'll open it up and I'm presuming that it's just a simple mistake that's been made when they put the belt back on where they've not lined up the uh, guides properly which stopped the machine from coming out of standby. So we'll open it up, have a look and see if that's what the fault is and I'll show you how to fix it. As you can see, I've not actually done anything with this machine yet, it's just how it can. What we'll do is just take the case off ready because we know we've got a, a fault already with the machine. Just take the screws out. And then we can pop the case off and we'll have a look to see what's going on. Let's turn it on. We have a standby light, but it's not even responding. So yeah, I'm thinking the belt and they've not lined up the... Let's get zoomed in and have a look see what's going on. Now, I don't think that that's been lined up. Now it's going to be a bit awkward to show you. But if I tip it like that, you should be able to see that we have a little tab, just there, a little white tab. And that is supposed to sit into this here but you also need to make sure that all this is pushed all the way back so hopefully if we just pull that to make sure it's all lined up and i know i can't show you at the moment but if you just make sure that it's pushed all the way down it should clip back into place like that and then hopefully we should be able to get the machine to initialize which it has done we had three clips then so let's see it's actually now powered up itself it's reinitialized so the only problem with this machine was the slider there hopefully you could see from what i was trying to explain but if it's not seated correctly the machine won't reboot and do its self test and as you can see now it's spinning the disc reading the disc and even detecting it. Now we're playing. So if you change your belts and that's what happens after you change your belt and nothing works, that's what you need to be checking. At least that you've assembled it back again correctly. So I hope you found that helpful. Just goes to show that, you know, when you can make a simple mistake and it will stop the machine working, 